Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make this lacy track bracelet. This is my own original design and it was inspired by Tutorials by A's tire track bracelet. And here is one side of the bracelet and here is the another. And there is a possible way to make a fish towel at the end. And if you stretch out the two single chains, you can see a lifesaver bracelet. So I really like that and I really like this side obviously. So be sure, be sure to stay tuned to learn how to make this bracelet. And also please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started. So to get started making this bracelet you will need a monster towel or any other kind of loom. I'm using bands in the color of glitter white, metallic silver and metallic purple. You will need a metal hook and also a C-clip. Everything you see here is from the Remelum website. And without further ado, let's get started. So first off, you're going to be grabbing your border band and which is glitter white for me. I'm going to be twisting it on these two pegs and I am going to be using four pegs and these for pegs so I'm gonna twist the band on these two pegs in the middle just like that now we are going to gra be grabbing one of your other colored bands and twist it like that and get another of the same color band and twist it again like that so now we are going to be grabbing double bands of your border bands make sure you push those bands that you just put on and you're going to be laying it just like that and the reason why we did that is so that it has like a fish towel and not a single chain so now we are going to be grabbing our hook pull back that meta that metallic purple band take the bottom band hold this Take the bottom band, pull it over and up. And do the same with the other side. So pull back metallic purple band, pull the band over and up. And if you are rendering, the bracelet will come out this way. So like this way and not outside. So now we are going to be grabbing the other color that we are using. Make sure you grab two of them. Get one single band and place it on this peg. Do the same with the other band. So now we are going to be grabbing the bands on the outside and pull it over and up. Do the same with the other side. So over and up. So now we are going to be pulling back both of those border bands twisting your hook grab the bottom metallic band and hook it over and up just like that do the same so pull back take the bottom band over just like that push that down now we are going to be grabbing another border band and single I'm going to be grabbing a single band and place it on these two pegs. So now, push those bands on the outside down. So now we are just going to be grabbing, we are pulling back the metallic, silver or whatever colour you are using. Pull that back with your hook. Twist your hook and grab only the bottom band. The border band, only the bottom band and pull it over and up. So that you should have something like this. Border bands on the two outside and the coloured band in the middle. So push that down. Do the same with this. So pull back. You're only grabbing the bottom band. And pull it over and up. If you overlap something like this, you just need to pull it down. Sorry if you can't really see because of the light. So now grab two of your colored bands 
and place it on both of the outside pegs. First of all you're going to be hooking your band up and over. Do the same with the other side, up and over. So now we are going to be we are going to be pulling back the top band, twist it, take the silver band and place it over and up. Just like that. Now take that bottom band, I mean take the top border band, pull it back, take the metallic silver band, or whatever colour you're using and place it over and up. So like this. Your bracelet should be forming a little. I am turning my monster tail around and I'm going to be grabbing my cap band with my hook. Going to be grabbing that and pull it a bit. Get a little tug. Should look something like this now. And now grab another border band, make sure it's a single band. Place it over, pull back the metallic white band, only grab the bottom band again, the bottom band, pull it up and over. Pull this back and take it up and over. Now push that down, grab the other colours, single band, place it on this peg and another single band and place it on this peg. You know, something like this. I'm gonna pull the bands up and over. These two pegs, the two end pegs, are making the single chains for the back. So pull that up and over. Pull back the border band. Twist your hook. Grab the metallic purple and loop it over. Do the same. Pull back. grab and loop it over. So basically this is the whole process. Pull back the metallic silver, take the bottom band only. Take the bottom band only. Pull it over. Sorry if I moved the camera, sorry. So pull that back, take the bottom band Pull it over. So I'm going to be tugging it. Should look something like this now. And I'm going to be showing you guys a few more times, as you can see the back. I'm going to be showing you guys about three more times, so I won't be talking as much. If you still don't get it, keep watching. And if you still don't get it and I go off camera and finish off my bracelet, then feel free to rewind, rewind, and yeah, so doesn't matter what pin you hook first, it doesn't matter as long as you hook it. So I'll show you guys two more times. So if you hear background noises, I think you can't really hear it since there's like music in the background. One more time. So now I'm going to be going off, I'm going to go off camera, finish off my bracelet, it should look something like this, but with your own colours. And here is what the back should look like. And if you still don't get how to make it, 
then just rewind and make it again or if you forgot a step then be sure to look carefully and now I'll come back and show you guys how to finish off the bracelet and when you finish it off and it should fit around your wrist perfectly or if you're making like a little sample for your friends or something you should end off with your border bands going on these two pegs so now I'll come back and I'll show you guys how to finish off the bracelet so now I've finished making my bracelet and it reaches the full length of my wrist and now I'm going to show you guys how to end off the bracelet and if you haven't and finished then be, feel free to pause and catch up and now I am going to be showing you guys how to finish it off so at this point you will need a C clip and a single or double band to loop all the bands onto this one single band so first grab your hook take this metallic band take it off the hook the pin carefully and place it on this peg do the same with the other peg just like that so now I'm going to be grabbing my single band and make it loose just like that now going to be sticking my hook in all those bands on the right get your other hand or finger and get the loose band that you just placed and hook it inside all these bands just like that and now you're just going to hook it on this peg and stick your hook inside this take take this band carefully with your fingers I'm trying to take it off Ugh. so if this is taking a while Ugh. so I'm going to take it off with my hook stick my hook inside all these bands get the band on your hook and stick it in all those bands just like that now take this off this peg and stick it through like you have a single chain so now you're gonna take it off and you should have something like this this is what mine looks like a single chain at the back and now I'm going to be clipping it so I'm going to stick my fingers through those two bands get my C clip and hook it on just like that and now find that single chain band stick two of my fingers in this and then hook it just like that so if it looks a bit weird and funny just stretch it out like this and this is what the other side looks like and now looks a bit funny so I'm going to stretch it so now you have finished making your bracelet so thank you all so much for watching this tutorial I hope you give this video a big thumbs up and also please subscribe make sure you follow my Instagram I'll link my username in the description box below and make sure to hashtag your creations using my tutorials to tutorials by KN I also put the hashtag in the description box below if you don't know how to spell it and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!